What's up everybody, I'm Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where to find the new apartments in the Pokemon Brick Bronze apartment update and how the easiest way is to afford all of the furniture and actually find out where to purchase it and probably just kind of have an overlook at what the best furniture is for your actual houses and kind of give you a lowdown at what this update is and how to kind of manage it. Uh, so before we get into the video guys, don't forget to leave a like as it does help me out and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, so okay, so here we are today, and this is my apartment guys. It looks really really cool I love it, uh, but what I'm gonna do guys is actually show you where to find these apartments So the first thing I'm gonna do is go outside and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly where I am in Antian City So these are the places you need to go inside Antian City So the first thing I'm gonna do is fly to where most of you guys will be when you go to Antian City And that is the Pokemon Center and then you can kind of just follow me from there uh, so here we are, and we're gonna go towards the districts area. Uh, yo, there's someone there. Hello. How do you do? Um, okay, so once we go through this little cutscene area thing or whatever it is, uh, what we're gonna do is then go forward and turn left, and uh, this is gonna bring you up to the housing district. Uh, you know, it's, it should be pretty obvious by now, but that is where you buy the houses or the apartments, I guess. Uh, so first off, we're gonna start off with the first houses um, and these are these ones right here these are the cheapest houses that you can buy in Pokemon Brick Bronze and uh, most likely when I'm looking at them for you guys I'll probably have the price in the top left hand corner or something or maybe in the top right bottom right I don't really know I'll have it somewhere uh, but what we're gonna do is go over and talk to this lady not run into her face like I'm trying to do and uh, let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to look for buying one of your own. Yes. Um, and she'll actually let you check a couple of these out. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the cube. Check out this one. Uh, so let's, it's, it's, it, it's just a cube. <laughs> it's just a cube, guys. Um, okay, brilliant. Uh, so let's see how much this is. Let's see. Um... How much is this? Oh, it's 1,000. Okay, so that's really cool. I'm not going to buy that. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at another place called the Stepapes. Uh, uh, steeps? Steeps or Steps? Yeah, just Steps, I guess. I think it's spelled wrong, though. Um, and this room is kind of basic. Just got a kind of step uh, in, the, in the middle of it. Kind of like divides the room a little bit. Makes it a little bit better looking than just a normal box. Uh, let's see how much these are if we buy this one. Um, okay, uh, so let's let's just see, lady. Can we, can we please get on with it? Um, this will be 5,000 uh, poker coins, uh, which we're not going to get again because I don't really like this one. It's not I'm not a fan of it. So yeah, and uh, last but not least we're gonna look at the view guys This one should have like oh, okay. It, it has a view But it's a wall the views a wall. It's literally a wall. We have a wall um not the best apartment, I've got to be honest. Um, and this one, let's see how much it is if we would decide to purchase it. Um, 25,000 Robux. Okay, um, well basically, I don't think that any of you guys should get any of those. Uh, so what do you think? Do you want it now? No, I no, and uh, no. And would I like to guide you back? Yes. So generally, guys, I would say don't go for the basic rooms. These are just for people who don't have money and just kind of excited to kind of decorate a room. Um, what we can actually do is go over to this place over here, which has a couple more options. Now, these are the media, uh, the medium kind of like priced ones. So we're going to talk to this lady once more. And uh, let's see. Um, let's see which ones. Uh, we're going to buy one of your own. Yes. Okay, and we're gonna have a look at what the terrace looks like is so once we get in here We have a pretty squarish room We have little steps over there towards a living area and we also have a little garden to kind of check out I mean you can definitely glitch out there. So that's pretty cool and appealing But I doubt that many people would actually want to buy it. Uh, so what do you think? Do you want it? Let's see. Yes, let's see how much it's gonna be um, and this one would be 500, uh, 50,000. Um, personally, I don't think it's worth it, so we're gonna say no. Uh, would you like to look at our other layout? Yes. Let's go and check out The Verge. This sounds pretty cool. So The Verge has a room within a room. Okay, that's a good start. It's got a little uh, kind of light in here, you know, we've got some light. And also, we've got a stairway up to this little area right here, and then a little room with a balcony. That looks cool. That looks pretty cool. I would say this is the best one so far. Probably the cheapest best one so far. So let's see how much this would be. Um, 
Let's see what we'd like it to be there. 75,000 Robux, or not Robux, sorry, Poker Coins. I think that's not bad. I think that's actually pretty cool. So what do you say? You want to keep it? Uh, no. Do you like the layout? No. Would you like to look at other layouts? No. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's 75,000. And what I'm going to assume is the one that I bought was 100,000. So that's kind of expensive. But they get even more expensive, guys. For those of you who have been saving thousands upon thousands of your poker, co uh, poker books, um... We actually have some over here, so we're going to go towards the golden Pokeball where the arcade is inside of, and we're going to go and speak to this lady right here. Here she is, um, golden Pokeball, we have a rain. Okay, are you looking to buy one of your own? Yes. Okay, so, ooh, these look, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to Elegance, guys, because I want to get along with this video. Uh, so, Elegance is the most expensive one. Oh! What is this? What is this? Oh my god, it's got a view and everything. It's got lovely little square trees. Oh my Jesus. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's so cool. And a little balcony here too. Oh my Jesus. Oh Jesus, but Jesus is... Okay, well that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That looks really cool actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how much this is. Let me see. Oh, this is the most expensive one, guys. It's 750,000. Oh my god, what? So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm actually going to buy some of this. And uh, we're going to go and check. Um, just to, Oh, wait. Oh, oh, geez, I can't even buy it all. Oh, no. Okay, well, guys, I couldn't actually buy it because I don't have enough Robux right now. So um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to skip to the part where I actually show you guys where to buy the materials and the paint and all that kind of cool stuff to actually go inside your apartment. So let's go uh, out of uh, the actual golden Pokeball itself and we're going to go towards uh, the, I think it's like just the district, I guess. It's just like the main district or something like that. Those guys think I'm still in there. I know, guys, I'm going around checking other places. Silly billies. Jesus. Um, okay, so once we're here, we're in Antheon City. Uh, this is the shopping district. That's what it's called. And we're going to go left of the Pokeballs area. I'm going to go do down towards um, towards Lucky Lotto. I'm going to take a left, and you'll see a place, a place called Zombies Painting and Hardware. This is where we need to go, guys. We need to go right here. And what we can do is we can actually go and talk to Zombie, and we can actually mix our own paint colors like this. Look at that. Look at that, we can have any color paint we want. And I thought that was pretty cool, actually. I thought that was really cool how, how like, they offered you that. So, basically, we can choose anything. So, um, let's say we want, like, um, a really nice kind of... Hmm, let's see. What would be a nice color? Like a purpley kind of color, I guess? Yeah, like a purple color. There you go. Let's go a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit darker. And this can actually adjust the brightness of it, like, so it can be really dark and uh, it can be really light. Uh, so we're going to go for the lightest one. And each one of these paints that you mix are going to be 500 Pokebox. You just kind of mix it here and you can buy multiple of these and use them. I think they all save no matter how many colors you get. I'm pretty sure they save. Uh, but as well as getting paint, we can actually go and buy some materials. Um, and this is like, see the way this uh, this little pole right here on the right has this kind of wood texture on it? Well, you can actually make anything you want that texture. And you can also color that texture in whatever color you want. Uh, so, you know, if you want to buy some marble flooring or some ice kind of looking one, maybe some sand actually, um, you can actually buy it. And each one of these will cost... 5,000 um, poker coins, which is not that bad because once you got buy them you get to keep them and use them everywhere And uh, now apart from there what we're gonna do is go left of a uh, hobo's lucky lotto And we're gonna go to Anthean furniture uh, So there you go some dudes like spamming all say hail star lord. I'm not Hitler dude calm down <laughs> But basically when we go inside here, we'll have two people behind the counter now this lady right here is called Bree and um, we can actually buy special event furniture every now and then when it's available. Unfortunately, there's none available right now, but this dude right here will sell you some pretty awesome furniture anyway. Uh, so let's go and take a look at that. It takes a minute. Um, so let's go and check out Sci-Fi, because I'm, I'm assuming that Sci-Fi is going to be the one that a lot of people are going to get. So Sci-Fi looks like this, and um, it actually gives you a little, like, kind of, um, kind of like a... 
a little view of what it actually looks like and how much it, you actually have to buy it for. This is 3,500 for just a bookshelf. But as you can see, this one looks pretty cool. I thought it looked really awesome. Um, so yeah, what you want to do, guys, is basically just go and check out which one of your favorites are these. Uh, you know, look, you get the honeycomb ones, and you can even mix and match. You don't have to keep to a certain theme. But that being said, you cannot color in the actual things themselves you cannot make like say let's say for example you choose this chair you cannot recolor it i don't think they're gonna allow that i'm not too sure so that really kind of is poopy but um still you know if you're going for a gray looking kind of area this is for you anyway so yeah, I guess, mm, you know, it's 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 just one of those things, guys, I think, to be honest. But anyway, please be sure to go and check out all of those guys. Go through them very carefully and make sure that you have a lot of money. For those of you who are asking, like, how do I get Poker Dollars in Pokemon Brick Bronze? I have a guide. It'll be in the description on how the fastest way to earn money is in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And also, you can just go and check out Lucky's Lotto. See if you win 200,000. That would be really cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like as it does help me out. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.